Over the years, you've arguably become uh, the biggest name in MMA, and uh, you're absolutely um, loved by five fans in Vegas. Um, how do you try to focus on your goals, like in the ring, outside the ring, and still try to you know, maintain being a family person as well? Well, there's a constant juggling act. It's always been one of the struggles about being an athlete. You know, I've been competing at a, at a high level in athletics since I was 19 or 20 years old, and, and there have been things that suffered. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the constant juggling act and, and balancing act of, of being an athlete and, and devoting all my time and attention to trying to be the best at something. And, and now in mixed martial arts, it's, it's the same thing, I'm trying to constantly find that balance and be able to be home yeah. occasionally yeah. And, and you know clean my garage and, <laughs> and, and do some of the things that make me feel like a normal human being, and not just off you know running around the country to another seminar, or another appearance, or another fight. <laughs> and, uh, you know, training camps, that's why, uh, you know, two, three, maybe four fights a year is, is the most that I can handle because it takes about 10 weeks to get ready for, yeah. for one fight to peak. And, you know, if I've fought four times a year, that's 40 weeks out of the year that I'm in hardcore two a day, very well, focused and intense training. Weeks off in yeah, between, so uh, that's pretty rough. And it's rough, you know, uh, I'm probably not the easiest person to live with during those time periods. I mean, I'm pretty laid back and and easy going but the things are very very intense during that time period and uh, I think it's been nice now having my wife actually fight and get some perspective on what's that like and, and what's a training camp like and what's it like to have to go put yourself out there in front of all those people and it's given her an idea of what goes into it and, and she is in a tremendous passion for it so yeah. it's great. That actually leads into my next question uh, what kind of conversation did you have when Kim you know made the decision to kind of go pro in MMA and start you know doing the same thing that you're kind of doing? Yeah, I was I was happy for her. I, I I thought it was a good thing right from the start. And again, I, I come from a background in wrestling where it's a full Olympic medal sport for the women as well as the men. So uh, I had teammates that, that were females that were just as dedicated as anybody else I knew. And, and Kim was certainly demonstrating that kind of passion and, and dedication to the sport. And so I wasn't concerned at all. I, you know, I, I've been in this sport for 12 years. I've seen very, very few injuries, let alone serious, serious injuries. injuries. So. So I wasn't worried at all. I thought it was a great idea, and uh, you know, she's here every day. She has all this stuff at her disposal too, mm -hmm. and, and she's come a tremendous long way yeah. in the last year as, as an athlete. And, uh, that's pretty exciting to see. Yeah. Um, what about uh, Ryan finally deciding to uh, start fighting as well? You know, Ryan started wrestling when he was about nine years old, and I think back then, you know, we're like, hey, do you, you know, do you want to wrestle? This is at the YMCA when I was in Oklahoma at Oklahoma State going to college, and. And he was into it as a nine-year-old, and then he kind of took a break from it for a while. He's like, I don't, I don't really want to wrestle anymore, Dad. And, and uh, you know, he ended up moving to Seattle, and, and in junior high they have a strong program. That's where I started, mm -hmm. and uh, he started wrestling in in junior high. And again, I, I tried to stay out of it. You know, it's way too tough a sport to do because Dad's in it. Yeah, you know? and, and especially you dragging around person. my last name already. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of pressure, and uh, so I've always just kind of stayed out of it for him and Amy. And they've both dabbled around in, in you know, the jiu-jitsu and the judo and, and, and some of the martial arts and, and Ryan, especially the wrestling. And, and now he's been playing around with the jiu-jitsu for a couple years and he's already starting to do some of the striking. And he's got a great base. He's a great athlete. Um, we call him the, you know, the, the quiet killer or the silent <laughs> assassin because he doesn't say a whole lot. But uh, he's, uh, he's doing a great job. He looks fantastic. He looked great in the smoker here. He's had his first amateur MMA fight that, that you know, he found a triangle in, in, in the first minute and a half of the fight and he's getting ready to go here again in, in the Tough Enough show here yeah. in Vegas yeah. uh, next weekend. So yeah. real excited about it. So as a dad, you nervous about that kind of stuff? I always get way more nervous watching from the outside yeah. and it probably goes up a couple of degrees when it's you know my, my flesh and blood out there. Yeah. Uh, somebody that, that I, I care tremendously about. but. Uh, you know, you're looking through coaches' eyes at that point, and it's always harder being a coach than it is yeah. actually being the guy like, in the you're ring. You're supposed to be doing this now. <laughs> yeah, you see things on the outside yeah. that you want to happen, and yeah. you can't facilitate them happening. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure I'll be uh, keyed up for sure, and uh, I, you know, I'm confident that he's prepared, and he's doing a great job and progressing. <laughs>